Hello, my name is Chad Trovkabin, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on the selection tool in Adobe Flash. Now, the selection tool is actually a pretty simple tool. It has three main functions, and that's to select things, obviously, to move things, and to morph things. And as I said, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but you know, when learning a new program, you always got to start somewhere, right? Okay. For those of you who don't know, the selection tool is located right up here. It's the first tool on the list, and it's a black arrow. The, there is a white arrow tool below it called the subselection tool, but it does have different uses and functions, and we won't be going over that today. That will be for another tutorial. So try not to get them confused. It kind of can be confusing, but just keep in mind that the black arrow one the selection tool is the one we are working with today. Okay? First of all, in order to kind of see this in action, we're going to need to draw an object on the stage. So, let's go down to the rectangle tool and select that, and then bring our cursor over to the stage, and then we're going to draw a rectangle, and in order to do that, you click, hold, the mouse button down, and then drag, and then you'll see your outline going on here and then when you let go, you will have a rectangle to work with. Alright, let's go grab our selection tool, which is located right over here, and then bring it back to the rectangle. And the first thing we're going to do is learn how to select and move things. They kind of go hand in hand. So, let's bring our cursor into the middle of the rectangle. You'll notice when I do this, a crosshair near the tool appears. It's kind of a crosshair with arrows on each end. This means that we can select or move the area in which the, the uh, selection tool is now in. And so uh, to demonstrate this, just click once right now where your cursor is, and you'll see that the fill in the rectangle now has white dots in it. This essentially means that this fill of the rectangle is selected. You'll notice the border is not selected. Um, in order to select the border, we need to bring our cursor outside of the rectangle, click, hold, and drag, and then encompass the rectangle with the selection area that you can see being made here let go and now you'll notice that the border is also now selected because it has white dots in it. It's That's always how you can tell if something is selected is if it has white dots in it. And now if we bring our cursor back to the center or anywhere really of the rectangle and we click hold and drag it and then let go you'll notice that we can move the square anywhere we want. And that's really useful when you're working with something and you need to you know, nudge something around or move it or whatever. And alternatively, you can use your keyboard arrows to move it left, you know, right, up, down, whatever you need to do. So if you need to just do that little nudge. Of course, alternatively, if you don't want to select the whole rectangle, you can bring your cursor over here, click, hold, drag, and just select a chunk of the rectangle. And then if you bring your cursor into the white dotted area, and you click and drag that, you can remove that chunk of the rectangle. And again, this has you know different uses depending on what you're doing. So, Okay, let's talk about morphing objects in more detail. And in order to do that, we're going to need to get our square or rectangle back. So let's go up to Edit, Undo Move, and then that will redo the last thing we just did. And you'll notice that we still have our white dots on the rectangle, and in order to get rid of those, you just simply click outside the rectangle anywhere, and then they will disappear. And now your rectangle piece is deselected. Okay. So let's say we want to do something different with this rectangle. We want to make a new shape or manipulate it in some way. 
This can be easily done with the selection tool. So, with the selection tool still in hand, let's go over to the left side of the right rectangle and move in to the border until we see the icon change to where we see a little bendy line under the cursor. As you remember before, we had a, we had a crosshair icon to indicate moving or selecting. This time we have a kind of a little curvy line. This basically means that we can bend the line we are sitting on right now, which would be the left side line. So let's give this a try. Let's, uh, oops, let's click hold and then drag outward and then let go. And you'll notice that we just, you know, gave that side a new facelift. And you can do this, you know, you can do this in any direction. So let's go up to the top here and get our bendy line there. And let's click and drag this downward to get a different shape. Or let's alternatively go right here and let's just kind of go really nuts with this. Let's click drag and then go way out here for something completely different. I mean, and then you can just manipulate this in several different ways, you know. And the best thing to do is to play around with this stuff too. You know, come up with your own style, your own techniques. That's really the most important part. And and so yeah, I mean that's basically the selection tool is you know selecting, moving, and morphing. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. But as you can see, it has its uses, and it's it's a pretty powerful technique. If you would like more you know in depth you know tutorials. You can always check out my written tutorials on these subjects too. And if you have any comments or questions about the selection tool or anything in Flash, I'd be tr I'd be happy to answer it. Um, you can go to my Squidoo Lens and write it, leave a comment or a question, and I'll I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. Um, until then, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, and I hope you found this helpful.